Nutrition 101, the basics. So we all know that the food that we eat contains calories, but looking into it more, we could consider calories as energy. We can split the energy into three main types known as macronutrients. These three are known as protein, carbohydrates and fat. Let's take a look at protein first. Keep this in mind that per one gram of protein you have, there are four calories. So its main functions are growth and repair. So let's look at an example. When we're in a gym doing an intense workout with weights, after that hard workout, if we consume protein, it will help repair and rebuild those muscles. So what are its sources? Mostly meats contain the highest amount of protein, such as chicken, beef, and lamb, whereas other sources can include eggs, fish, nuts, and seeds. As a healthy guideline, we should have a combination of all of these sources. Moving on to carbohydrates now, just like protein, it has four calories per one gram. Now carbohydrates are our body's most preferred source of energy over all three. The main function of this macronutrient is simply providing us with energy to go through things such as physical activities like running. Now carbohydrates can be broken down into two kinds known as simple and complex carbohydrates. In another video we will go more in depth on this but for now let's just stick to this. So if you think of simple carbs being the fast acting and complex carbs as the slow acting ones, you can easily divide these up. Simple carbohydrates are from sources such as energy drinks like Red Bull, any kinds of sugary sweets and most fruits. Complex sources of carbohydrates come from brown rice, whole grain cereals and whole grain pasta. Now I recommend that you stick to mostly complex as these are way more healthier because they will release the energy much more slower keeping you feeling fuller for longer preventing you grabbing more food than you need. Finally moving on to fat. Now most people will instantly say that fat is bad for you and that you shouldn't have too much but it's simply not true. I'll go more into this on my other video, healthy and unhealthy fat. Now, unlike protein and carbohydrates, fat has nine calories per one gram, which I imagine is where some of the confusion comes from with it being more than double the amount of calories. So it's easy to see how too much can lead to weight gain. Now there are four types of fat, but today we aren't going to dive that deep into it. All we need to know in the basics is that its main functions are for being a backup energy source from when you're out of carbohydrates. It also helps with things like hair, skin and nail production, as well as hormone control. Sources of fat can come from fish, nuts, eggs, seeds, cooking oils, certain types of meat like steak and foods that include butter in the ingredients. Now I recommend to you that you don't cut it out from your diet as it's just as important as the other two macronutrients. Now as for how much and what kinds, the average person would need anywhere from 40 to 80 grams per day so keep this in mind when choosing what foods to eat. And there's the basics. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. So until then, bye for now.